Hi everyone! Today we are going to do an open box and review of the Sunny Health indoor stationary bike. Let's get started! The first part of the video is going to be open box. If you want to just see the review of the bike, please go to the 3 minute and 17 second mark of this video. So you want to open the box first like this, flip it over with all the flaps staying out like this, and then you can just pull the box up like such. So I'm going to continue to unwrap this bike, and you can see, you can see the menu is on top right here, and there are some assembly tools on the bottom. So I was pretty impressed with the packaging of this bike. They hide a lot of parts uh, inside the styrofoam on the side. So I was, as I was unpacking this, I had a really fun time. So after I unwrap everything on the bike, this is all the parts that comes with. So we have the bike body itself, and then we have the the rails on the bottom, you see this one has wheels, the pedal, the handlebar, the cushion seat, which just has a really nice cushion right here. And then these two are the, the, the hardware for the seat. This is the, uh, the vertical bar and it's the horizontal bar for the seats coming. And this is the, the hardware for the uh, handle. And also we're going to have a uh, water bottle holder. Comes with a thank you card. And two set. And user manual. So we will speed through the assembly of the bike. Uh, I'll put the link to my full tutorial of how to put the bike together. In the description so if you're interested uh, or if you want some help of how to put the bike together you can check out my tutorial in the description meanwhile we will continue to enjoy this time-lapse video and the lovely music in the background we will review the bike in the next section all right so I put the bike together this is a pretty dope bike look at that it's a 40 pound flywheel with the belt, not the chain version. So I got the belt version, not the chain version. They say it's easier to maintain and makes less noise. So it's more quiet than the chain version. Okay, um, it does come with the, the shipping tubes, these two guys. I think you can dispose this because you don't really need it uh, for the bike. Unless you're moving the bike somewhere, like in a moving company, then you probably need this. But for me, I don't think so. I don't have a space for it. So my first impression of this bike as I was assembling it is that it has a really nice handlebar, right? It, it, it's really sturdy and it can do multiple positions. You can do like a standing riding and then the, the front uh, center mount right here. It's really nice. So the wheels on the front right here, it's also good for moving the bike around in the house. So that's a plus. The 40 pound flywheel, which is really heavy. Look at that. Oh, it provides more stability of the ride. And it just looks cool in general. It's a good thing to have in the house. The push and stop lever. I think you just push it and you stop the wheels. So that is pretty cool. I don't see that often in other bikes. And the water bottle holder. Um, this could be a pro or a con, depending what your situation is. It's kind of sticky. Uh, it's good. The first good thing is that you can put a water bottle on the side. That's cool. You know, instead of putting it on the on the center. But the con is it is sticking out. <laughs> you know, it's just not too eye pleasing in that position. The seat for the price is really nice cushion seat. Um, of course, I haven't ride on it yet. This is my first impression of the bike, but it feels like it's really cushiony. I like it. Can't wait to hop on it. So the only negative side I find about this bike is that um, the handle right here, it doesn't have any like 
phone holders or like a, a little space for you to put any wallets or keys on, on here. But given that this is a home station, um, stationary bike, so this could be ignored. So to adjust the height of the seat on this bike, you just to have to unscrew this a little bit out and then pull out the, the knob and then you can just go up and down, okay? But I mean, it kinda, it's kind of impossible to do with the camera on my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna hop on and see how the bike feels like on the ride. It certainly feels sturdy because I'm a 200 pound guy and I try to move on like this whoo, push, and nothing is really moving to be honest and then you can stand up do a ride like this still very good it's not bad okay <laughs> and then spread down and screw the handle a little bit okay Okay, the, the handlebars are a little bit short for my taste because I kind of like to rest my elbow <laughs> on the handlebars. As you can see, my, my full elbow can rest on the handlebar. But if you're just riding like this without resting your elbow, that's fine. It's pretty good. And then you can do like this. Alright, upright position. Pretty cool. Just the, the resistance of the knob. Woo! Well, you, can, you, can, you can really feel it. Alright. Alright. And then the push stop lever right here on the center. You can just give a push and the bike stops, the wheel stops. I have two little kids running around, so I mean, the, the flywheel is exposed outside. So it's good to have this lever to. Just quickly stop the, the flywheel in case the kids or any pets uh, that you have that walks around the house like this. So another thing to notice, uh, to well, keep in mind that when you before you buy this bike, is that the 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 pedal right here is good if you wear shoes <laughs> or sandals at least. If you're doing it with bare feet, it's gonna feel really rough on here. So I recommended you uh, ride this bike with shoes on. Uh, but you know, in my in my household, I, we don't wear shoes. Really. So the next thing we're gonna look at is how easy it is to move this bike around in the household like this with carpet. Okay. So basically, you just have to hold the handle like this and just push it down. Then the bike will be on wheels, right? Remember the the, the front has the wheels on it. So you just move it around and steer it. Pretty easy. You just move around the house like that. It's really light. Alright. Move around like this. Okay, so the, the wheels on the front really helps you for the mobility of this bike. So initially I was worried about the space consumption of this bike. But it seems fits perfectly on the spot I was planning to have it anyways. So it's between my couch and my massage chair. You see the bike fits right here. And then all the pedals can move freely, have enough space to move. So I'm excited to get a good workout with this bike. So my channel is all about reviewing gadgets from Amazon. So if you like this channel and you like to see what's hot on Amazon, please subscribe. Thank you so much. See ya. I found the washer. Oh yeah. I'll do it again. Oh. Oops, I drop it again. Okay. Okay. Daddy Daddy. Huh? Here you are. Can you ah. twist it? Oh, oh. Daddy Daddy. Daddy. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. My channel is all about reviewing the hot items from Amazon and um, this is one of the hottest items <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use this for my weight loss training. Okay? 
Have a good one.